Greetings, everybody. Happy Monday. Today, I just want to take a, t a little time in the beginning of my video to just give thanks for the blessings in my life because it's very easy to see the things that are not right and not see the things that are going well. So I give life for, I give thanks for life itself. Rise it up in the morning, seeing a new day is a, a lot for us to be thankful for. I'm grateful for my family, those who are around me, you know, to see my daily struggles and to give me audience when I really need to share my thoughts. I give thanks to my YouTube viewers as well, subscribers or individuals that are just passing through. I give thanks for the country that I live in, though I might criticize uh, elements of it. Uh, there are a lot of great things I could say about this country. I appreciate the opportunity to vent sometimes and to be honest about how I feel about experiences that I've had. Sometimes it's therapeutic for me. Um, sometimes what I say might be misconstrued or misunderstood. Um, sometimes I might uh, offend individuals. But at the heart of it, I am only expressing my feelings about certain things and I also will always welcome individuals to give me another point of view. I can't promise not to offend because sometimes, as I said earlier or before in previous videos, that sometimes when you tell your truth, it is going to offend individuals. And um, if people are not able to try to look at my perspective, they'll not understand but i am thankful i'm thankful that i live in a place where uh i can say things that might be offensive and uh, still be allowed to do that and not be put in front of a firing squad i'm thankful for that i'm thankful that it's warm weather now i'm really enjoying the weather i don't do so well in the winter time and the sun sun and Warm weather really lifts my spirit. I'm thankful for even moments of silence. Sometimes I spend a lot of time alone, just thinking, just meditating. I have friends that I love and sometimes they don't hear from me and um, when I'm able to connect with them, everything is the same. I'm very blessed in that way, that I can have friends that I can take time away from and not have to apologize for my absence, because I need that. Sometimes I need that time alone. I don't like to overwhelm individuals with all kinds of stuff that's going on in my life. I like to work it out, you know? Because sometimes things appear to be huge it seems like the world is coming to an end you know one day and the next day you're fine you know sometimes we take things so personal and uh, get so worried about small things that we make them bigger than they really are so there are a lot of times I'm going through something and I just wish I could speak to someone about it and then when the time passes I'm glad that I didn't because it wasn't really a big deal So yeah, looking for the things in my life to be grateful for. And sometimes when I listen to individuals talk about suffering and pain, it makes me realize that, you know, not to minimize my own situation because we all have our own path to go through and we all have to deal with it in our own way. But when I see and hear suffering from someone else, I empathize with that individual, but it allows me to count my blessings. I want to talk about global warming just briefly today. I'm trying to keep this video brief. And my views on global warming. Um, we used to think about natural disaster, you know, certain times in the year, 
it's a hurricane season or you know whatever or if you live in some countries where there is volcano you know you're used to knowing okay this is a season for whatever climate change but nowadays we're looking at something different we look at, at global warming and sometimes i joke and say it's more like global warning because nowadays uh, individuals can predict what's going to happen six months down the road a, a year down the road it's hard to hear someone tell you that there's going to be an earthquake and you take it serious and uh, with the advancement of technology and wisdom improving and increasing i know it's possible that individuals could probably measure seismic you know movements or whatever to predict these things but sometimes i wonder if it's the act of man as opposed to the act of god so i see uh the opposition leader in jamaica andrew holness is building uh, what looks like a mansion and there's uproar about the fact that he's building such a, a, a ginormous structure at a time when the Jamaican people are going through economic you know upheavals but my thing is um, if he is using his own money that he's worked hard for and chooses to invest it in real estate i don't care how big the property is or huge this building or structure is it's not my concern and he also says that his wife is a real estate developer so what it would cause one person to build a structure would probably cost him different because he has someone who's an expert taking care of the job i don't care about all of that the question I would like to ask Andrew Olness is, that place doesn't just look like a beautiful mansion. Everyone is entitled to live in whichever house or building or structure they want to live in. My thing is, this doesn't look like a building that just is made, you know, to fulfill your desires or to have your dream home. It looks like a bomb shelter. It looks like some place that's preparing you to shelter you and your family in case of some type of natural disaster. And my thing is, do you know something that the Jamaican people don't know? Because I think they're wasting time thinking about the kind of mansion that you're building. Because in Jamaica, all kinds of people have beautiful homes. But my question is, do you know something that the Jamaican people don't know? Would you know of a pending disaster and not share it with the Jamaican people so that they too can prepare for it because your home it doesn't look like a mansion it looks like a bomb shelter just saying anyway people uh, open your eyes look around you look to nature and, and see if you can find out the truth about life because if you're relying on mankind to give you the truth you're really not gonna really hear much take time to yourself whatever you believe in whatever religion you believe in whatever you aspire to you know be blessed hold firm and fast to your opinions and your beliefs if you're convicted by those feelings or opinions or ideas but also allow others to believe in their own philosophies question those philosophies if you wish but um don't try to let individual feel like you have autonomy and truth because you don't nobody has autonomy and truth we all have ideas we are moved in one direction or the other based on our, our own personal experiences love yourself you can't love someone else until you love yourself love yourself first and in so doing, you learn to love others. Be blessed, everybody. Pray for me. Encourage me. Strengthen me. Whichever way you choose. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day, everybody. Think on these things.